Fancy intro music, yeah! Woohoo! Well, welcome back to the channel. And many of you came to me yesterday going, Rev, I, I thought there was going to be a hint in yesterday's video. <laughs> well, there was. There, in fact, was a hint about upcoming content. And if you missed it, what can I say? That's kind of the point. It's a hint. It's not supposed to be easy. I don't give it away. But because you little scallywags complained a little bit, I'll give you a hint to the hint. It's all about the core. That's it! That's all you get. <laughs> okay, I guess we can do today's video now. So for today's video, I wanted to recover Hostile Grinding Cruise because I feel like a lot of people are asking about this more and more. And that's what we're going to do today, taking a look at those crews in particular and what could be done to make them better, worse, etc. Maybe where you're at, we'll see. I actually need to take this off real quick. Sorry, I just thought about this in the middle of the video. Now, the initial issue for a lot of these different setups is that there's only one of each type of the primary hostile officer. So let me start with that from the very beginning. You actually just saw me take one of those officers off. So now we got to sort by name so I can scroll all the way to the end. There we go, to Talon. So this is your anti-interceptor loadout where I'm using Picard Beverly Talon. Now I'm starting with the Picard version because this is a little bit newer. More people were able to get this recently. So newer players are more likely to have this than they are to have Pipe Moreau. But we'll cover all of them equally, including uh, referencing, remember that video of how they work. I did a full on Pipe Moreau versus Picard Beverly. Check that video out. Just hit it in the search bar. We'll cover that later. I want to cover all five crews that I'm going to talk about today because normally I only talk about three. Now we're going to talk about five different variations of different crews. So the first one is going to be this right here, which is Picard Beverly Talon. This would be to fight interceptors. The reason being is you get the, if the opponent is a hostile, decreases the damage done by its kinetic weapons by 20%. Interceptors use kinetic weapons. Please keep an eye out for this level 51 and under. There is a crew for fighting bigger stuff, but I actually don't want to mention it because if it gets changed or patched, I don't want me getting blamed. So I'm going to let it go for a little bit longer. I've known about it for about two months. I'm going to give it a couple more months, and if nothing happens, then I'll release that one out. So we've got this is the main one for anti-interceptor. Or going against the heavies, if you've got like a big ISS jellyfish in the soul system. And then this would work well because... The ability of this guy, which is pretty good, is the captain's ability. Make it so 2 times 60%, 120% actually works on top of Talon. Now, we've gone over that math before. Just trust me that it works, and it works really, really well. Next crew we're going to take a look at, and we're going to refresh over the starter crew. So we talk about Picard Beverly being like the maximum. Well, this would be the starter version. It would be next-gen LaForge, next-gen Crusher, and then Chin or Talon. Talon was the one that we just saw. Or Chin, who's the one for the, you know, well, I don't want to say just explorers, but anything that is an energy-based. So hostiles that will be battleships, explorers, and most traders will be used with Chin as the anti-hostile officer. So if you're a new player in the game, let's say like you're level 10, you're not really sure how to take on those officers right now or how to effectively win against, say, an explorer. Like you want to put this on your Tala as a new player in the game, well, you would want to have this and then this officer right here. Next Gen LaForge, Next Gen Crusher, and Chin. That is your basic anti-hostile loadout for most ships with Talon being used only for interceptors because of the kinetic weapon or some of the heavy traders because they use kinetic weapons. Next up, because we don't want to confirm that, we want to discard that, we want to go to the next one, which is this is the original one. So this is one that you can actually have as a low-level player and still get a lot of success with. You just might not get this as quickly because it, the game is focusing on giving you the next-gen officers first. But this is the one that we grew up with, which is Cadet Uhura, Cadet McCoy, and then Chin. You can also put Talon here, of course. The Chin Talon is only based on what you're actually trying to fight. 
Interceptors, Talon. Explorers, Chin. Battleships, Chin. Traders, Chin. Heavy Traders, Talon. So remember all those little details in your head. And this is the other starter group. So either way, you should be able to field two regular hostile crews at any given time. So you could do Picard, Beverly, Talon, and then Pike, Moreau, Chin. Or Next Gen LaForge, Next Gen Crusher, Chin. Cadet Uhura, Cadet McCoy, Talon. The key is the Chin, Talon, and then getting the pairings correctly. Now you can do this at level 1 or level 40, as long as you understand the process of how it's working. Let's back out again and take a look at the main one that everybody talks about the most, Pike Moreau Chin, PMC, or PMT for Pike Moreau Talon. Now, the reason this is the favored one is because if you get Talon to rank 3, tier 3, you have maximum mitigation. Not to mention the damage decrease, which is what, a 94% damage decrease total. So the opponent hostile will only do 6% of its natural damage with PMC or P Picard Beverly Chim. We'll do the same exact thing. But this is kind of the primary. So this is the top tier. So we talk about it like if you're level 39, Picard Beverly Talon, which is typically what I would run on my second, and then Pike Moreau Chin for the first one. That's how you would go into two ships for hostile grinding. Now, I also wanted to include this one. There's actually a couple variants of it, but this is the Borg grinding crew for level 29s. Seven, five, and then this little pretty lady right here, eight. Cybernetic enhancements, increasing the attack of the officers. Now, you can use really several different variations of this. So if I sort by a group, let's say you did not have... 5 of 10, well, then you would do 9 of 10 right here. You can also use Pike Moreau Chin versus 25s or Cadet Uhura, Cadet McCoy Chin or Next Gen LaForge, Next Gen Crusher Chin against 25s because the energy weapon, they have both. And it depends on the firing pattern of the Borg probe for you to know how to load out against it. What you'll find a lot of people do is against the max ones, they'll run several different types of crews. Pike Moreau Talon works really well against 33 Borg probes. You can also run one of 10, uh, was it one of 10 Beverly Crusher? And then I'm, I'm blanking on the third one. Is it Talon? I'd have to look that one up. But one of 10 is captain with five of 10 to give you another variation there. I'd have to go look up what that, that crew was because I never used that one. But then this is a common level 29 crew as you would work your way up and level up your Vidar to getting it to max. So the other day, you know, you can you level these things up and kind of get three solid crews, but you have five totals. Now, people ask a lot, can I use another officer like Worf or Tasha Yar to make up for that? The short answer is no, and let me explain why. So here's Tasha Yar, Code of Honor, increases all weapons damage against non-player targets, so hostiles and armadas, by 20%. Now, that's rank two. Can level this up, and yes, you can get a bonus by com you know combining it with Pike Moreau or Picard Beverly. Here's the key, though, everybody. Remember this. Picard, Beverly, etc. The reason that Chin and Talon are so good is because it reduces hostile damage. She's just benefiting your damage, which is good. I'm not saying it's awful, but all she's doing is benefiting your own personal damage. She's not actually making it better. She's not actually an anti-hostile officer. Technically, she is by how she's worded, but she does not work in the way that we need a hostile officer to work to truly take a big advantage of. And I know Worf has gotten brought up before on the Fools Have No Fear, increases all mitigation stats against non-player targets by 20%. We have a lot of mitigation officers in the game already, and that still does not do what Chin and Talon do. At the moment, right now, and we will continue to bug the mess out of them, there's only one version of Chin. This is it, and that's why it's so important to get her max. There's only one version of Talon, so Chin, Talon. And we need to have more ver uh, versions. We need to have variants of that in the game because now we have multiple ways to load out crews. We literally have four pairings set up for two cards. Next Gen LaForge, Next Gen Crusher, Cadet Uhura, Cadet McCoy, Picard, Beverly, Pike, Moreau, four, but we still only have two primary anti-hostile officers for now, and that is Chin Talon. That's for your regular hostiles. That's if you're going against their clips, traders, if you're going against Borg probes, if you're going against just deep space, regular grinding, getting rep grinding up. 
essentially works the same way. Now there is a different crew, as I mentioned earlier in the, in the video about late grinding, but I'm going to cover that in another video just to make sure it's not something that gets patched. But I feel like everybody needs a refresher here because so much has changed. And for those wondering, can Beverly be as good as Moreau? Yes, but it's a little bit harder and takes till about rank three usually. Whereas when Moreau hit rank three, she's completely maxed out in terms of mitigation automatically. Not the same with Beverly. So let me start by group and talk about that real quick. We did talk about this in the video, but I might as well do it here. So the difference is her ability at rank three is still based on you stat stacking defense of the officers. If you can stack enough stats of defense, then yes, starting at rank three, she can do as well as Moreau or better. In fact, a rank two Beverly can do better than a rank two Moreau. However, rank three Moreau is guaranteed maximum mitigation. And that's important if you max your mitigation and you completely dump your enemy's damage with Chen or Talon, you're going to kill more hostiles. So it's just common sense. Beverly needs to get to rank three plus a lot of stats to match a rank three Moreau. But she can as well do the exact same thing to where you have that, you know, coveted 71.19 max mitigation for your ship, meaning you take as little damage as you possibly can. Anyway, I hope this video helps and this refresher helps. I am planning on doing several of these during the week as we wait for the new arc, and uh, hopefully you catch the hints. If not, well, you'll just have to stay tuned for more, because there is more. I actually dropped one about uh, something with a T, something with a T uh, about a few days ago. What was that? I don't know. I don't know. Um... Hmm. Hmm. Uh, well, who knows? Who knows? I don't know. What? Uh, what? What? An even better outro than the intro. Yeah. Woo!